It is festive time in this village. There is joy, celebration and gaiety. They cannot be happier. This is because the divine is coming. They are eager to welcome him. Bhagwan has arrived in the form of the Shri Satya Sai Mobile Hospital. Yes, it is a mobile hospital, not a van or a mobile clinic. With sophisticated facilities in it to do X-ray, ultrasound, ECG, scores of lab tests and other diagnostic services, this medical bus is truly a life-giving panacea for the poor villagers of Marala. No wonder, for them, it is like God gliding into their hamlet. The innocent jubilation of these villagers living 30 kilometers away from Puttaparthi knows no bounds. Mobile hospital ochin tarawata, chala santoshanga undi. Ide me mobile to change ko lante vele vele kharchu outundi. Ma ke kadu akar rupee gora kharchu leko kunda, ibbandi leko kunda. Santoshanga chupis kunto namo. Baba dayato challa ga unnamo. Acha improve hota hai. Acha dekh tin kar ka naun kamate hai. Sairam ne mobile hospital padel ke dar chupis kunda. नाक लेडीस प्रॉब्लम तो डाक्टर बक्कर चूसी आपरेशन चार अब बाग आरोग्य उ इबंधा माला नीन हास्पल की तब एक् डाक्टर बा चूस अंदर स्वामी दई वाल अंदर चल उ सैरम वाट्स इंट्रेस्टिंग इज यूजली वे पीपल गो टू ए हास्पल दे क्यारी दिपोर्ट स्टाड इन क्यू मेक् देमेंट अंड रन अरउंड टू गेट देस्ट ऑन द काट्री When people come to this hospital, they carry with them flowers, incense, and smiles. Bhagwan initiated this medical outreach seva in 2006. Even though Puttaparthi has a general hospital and super speciality Medicare facilities, and many needy rural folk do find hope and cure in these hospitals, still there are hundreds and thousands who are unable to come to these spaces. For them, Baba said. The hospital should go to where they are, and that is precisely what this hospital on wheels does. For the last 17 years, a team of voluntary doctors have been taking care of 300 to 350 villages located in the 50 kilometers radius of Puttaparthi, working tirelessly to raise the health profile of these rural people. The curative service. or what we call patient care rendered by the mobile hospital is of a high quality owing to what i would say the on site availability of multiple specialists the sanjeevani diagnostic bus regularity of service fixity in approach a good pharmacy which ensures uninterrupted supply of medicines and a viable backup support which is required for follow up medicare for some of the ailments all these have combined and resulted in a very tangible and visible improvement in the health profile of the served population and also the spiritual base of the program that serves as a powerful reminder to people that it is their thoughts and their adherence to our age old practices like prayer and meditation which will really foster mental health which is equally important as bodily health or physical health 300 volunteer doctors belonging to 12 specialties from various districts of andhra pradesh and telangana who come on a roster every month eagerly wait for their opportunity to participate in this moving work for young doctors this is quite a revelation Today I feel so blessed to be able to take part in the Sri Satya Sai Mobile Hospital and the most powerful thing I've seen here is people's reaction to um Swami's hospital um and the team coming from Puttaparthi with a lot of love the way they greet us and appreciate Swami's service is uh, absolutely inspiring and moving I see a volume of cases where I have an opportunity to guide and uh, also interact with the local community here I feel uh, it's a blessing in disguise. I have been coming to the mobile hospital since last 13 years. 
I always come to Prashanti Nilayam because I feel this Sannidhanam is my umbilical cord. I feel that I am continuously learning more and more, more and more in mobile hospital because I work with all veterans of the field. I learn so much, I feel happy and my batteries are charged. Every time I go on coming until my last breath. Having done 40,000 x-rays, 50,000 scans, and 200,000 blood tests and seen over 10 lakh rural people. The mobile hospital today functions with great precision, speed and efficiency. It is completely IT enabled. 50 to 100 dedicated volunteers manage the logistics, setup and all the other medical and paramedical support that doctors need. The bus is also acquiring a new high-end ultrasound machine with five different probes. This is indeed a boon for the pregnant women who come regularly for scans. Now that this is a proven, systematic and streamlined service, the mobile hospital in its next phase is embarking on diversification. In 2017, this service got a shot in the arm with the addition of a dental bus with a full-time dedicated doctor. Other than normal extraction, cleaning the tooth, we do many other procedures like root canal treatment, flap surgeries, and wisdom tooth removal. So for this, we have the latest equipments, laser instrument, and we have portable X-ray, and latest addition is ozone machine. We try to educate the villagers by teaching them how to maintain the oral hygiene so that that will help in prevention of many other systemic diseases. The new medical bus, which besides having exclusive cabins for X-ray, ultrasound and lab tests, has an ophthalmic unit too with equipments like auto-refractometer, slit lamp, alpination tonometer and so on. All of this enable complete eye checkup. This kind of equipment is generally available in metro cities and advanced eye clinics. And serving with these villages and serving in our mobile hospitals gives me a different level of happiness. It is amazing, really speaking, that an outreach, high-quality service, which is manned by voluntary doctors, totally, totally, it is very difficult for the poor people in villages living. Once you go there only, you know the depth of their suffering. Otherwise, staying in cities, in bigger hospitals, we never know. This has been one thing that has touched my heart. And believe it or not, I go only for that. Even if those facilities which are not available here, even uh, the radiotherapy, cancer therapy, etc. They were also done totally free of cost with providing food also to the patients, at the, even in the private hospitals also. That is all because of uh, Swami's love, compassion and grace uh, towards uh, the patients and the doctor. This one single reason which I can say, apart from of course we know it is our Swami's grace, has been what I would call the technical ambience which we have created which serves as a highly satisfactory platform for doctors to come and serve. And this is evident by the fact that more and more doctors are coming, young doctors are coming, because the clinical material is also huge. Because you have so much of ingredients which contribute to a correct and a complete patient care. Dr. Narsiman, who has been Bhagwan's chosen instrument for this mission right from its inception, today, deftly handles two important responsibilities. Director, Sri Satya Sai General Hospital, as well as Director, Sri Satya Sai Mobile Hospital. When I was given the additional charge of the General Hospital, I thought I should integrate the human resources especially, and also the infrastructure of all the three hospitals available to us, the General Hospital, the Super Specialty Hospital, and the Mobile Hospital. And in that process, we started doing oncosurgeries, lung surgeries, gastro surgeries. And you know, our master Bhagwan was always fond of unity. And especially when there is unification of our efforts, energies, resources in Seva, Swami would be immensely pleased. Just like it is with all missions of Bhagwan, this Seva too 
has been going on silently freely and with great love however quiet the seva might be such commendable work cannot go unnoticed for long today the government health planners and administrators are seeking advice from the shri satya sai central trust to devise their rural outreach program it was like a strategic planning uh, every single item was available the way they set up the uh, equipment in different rooms it was like a mini super specialty hospital and the icing on the cake was the availability of medicines usually somebody would prescribe something and go off but here it's not limited to that after that the people come they get their uh, prescription they come and get the medicines and the best beauty of this entire exercise is that they know exactly when the hospital will reach them and when is the next visit and we were told that it has never failed come hail come shine whatever the hospital comes and every single person who was a part of this entire um, project was an epitome of love compassion and care it couldn't be better this is a model that can be replicated it's the public service of the highest order in 2014 the mobile hospital was adjudged as the best in rural outreach healthcare and received a citation which read transformation of human lives with innovative healthcare this was a special award by cnbc tv 18 which screened 3000 hospitals in the country and gave awards to 12 hospitals every human being has some urge instinct in him to do something good and this is true of doctors a very reputed cardiologist from hyderabad who incidentally was my teacher also when he came on my invitation for service here and when he went back i normally you know sort of formally thank them also and then he said narsimhan why are you thanking me we have learned our subjects using the dead bodies of these poor people in the first 3 years of our medical career and then he said later we learnt our subjects using the bodies of these poor people live live bodies so he said does it require a sai baba to tell us that we have to pay back something to the community bhagwan shri satya sai baba says i separated myself from myself to love myself and the true signature of this love is selflessness and sacrifice when such love becomes our nature too we become god like prema chetane seva cheyandi bidalaku mukhyanga seva cheyali aa bidalu sevane mimmalu samrakshinchedi rama sevane ga bidal sevane rama seva kanukane bidal seva cheyandi ee bidal nimittamai mee pranaanni ankitam cheyandi naaku vera aasane ledhu నాకు ఈ బీదల సేవనే ప్రధానమైన లక్ష్యము ఏమైనా సరే ప్రాణాన్ని వారికి అర్పితం చేసి వాళ్ళని కాపాడటానికి ప్రయత్నం చేస్తాం ఈ లక్ష్యం లోపల వెయింట్ ఒక భాగాన్ని మీద మీరు పెంచుకోండి ఇది ఏ మానవుడు ఈనాడు చేయవలసినటువంటిది